Hey, what's up? So, I'm going to show you how to root the Kyocera rice. And the first thing you're gonna do is make sure the phone is fully charged before you begin. The next next thing we're gonna do is go to settings and go to developer options and you're gonna check stay awake and USB debugging. Okay. Uh, then we're going to settings again and then we're going to security and then we're going to check unknown sources then we're going to go to google play and we're going to look for an app called ES File Explorer Okay Hold on It gave me the wrong one It's called ES File Explorer 1.5 Cupcake Alright File Explorer ES File Explorer 1.5 Cupcake There is Install it Okay, now on your computer you're going to Google and you're going to search for a, for a file called Ministro it is called <coughs> Ministro, uh, if you can see it right there, right there, uh, Ministro 2 version 9.4 APK. not 9.5 it has to be 9.4 and it's true to v9.4 all right and once you find it you're going to put it in your you're going to transfer it to your phone Okay, and uh, to do that, we're going to we're going to connect the phone to the computer with a USB cable. All right. Once you connect it to the USB cable, select mass storage. Remember this choice done. Alright, so once you have downloaded the file Ministro 2 version 9.4, you're going to go to the downloads folder. And you're going to
copy the file. Just let me find it. Give me a second. All right, there it is. All right, copy. And then you're going to look for the the cell phone folder. Which is going to be a removable drive, removable disk click on it and then look for the download folder double click it and paste the file alright there it is okay now we're going to We're going to disconnect the phone from the computer and you're going to open ES ES File Explorer. You're going to scroll down to download, open it and install the Ministro 2 file okay now we're going to Google again We're going to look for a file called We're going to look for a file called put put dash debug Parenthesis W one hundred parenthesis Just like that dot APK Alright, so search Google for that and once you find it, we're going to we're going to transfer it to the phone also. Alright, so go to the downloads folder. copy it and paste it uh, I need to connect the phone to the computer first So download right. 
copy and paste in the same folder, the download folder. Just where you pasted the other app. So you have both apps there. Now now we're going to the phone again. We're going to disconnect it. Disconnect it from the computer. We're gonna open ES File Explorer. Go to download and install put debug. Click open. Put need put needs extra libraries to run. Click OK. <coughs> gonna download <coughs> all the needed libraries Uh, when you run put debug you might be taken to the play store and asked to download Ministro 2 it's a different it's a I think it's an updated Ministro app if you are taken to the play store before you download the libraries uh, you need to install the new Ministro app. I think it, I think it is an updated version. So you install it. After you install it, you're gonna be able to download the libraries. So, right. Uh, so after the libraries are downloaded, you're gonna click press here to put. All right. It's gonna show this text right here give me one second I am double checking the steps alright so you wanna click get super user You're gonna install it. Alright. You're going to uh Open it. And you're gonna swipe to the left. And you're gonna uncheck this box outdated binary notification. Uncheck it. Alright, uh, 
we're gonna go to ES File Explorer again Right, open the menu and click on settings settings then you're gonna enable root explorer click yes click allow You're gonna also check mount file system. Alright. Now we're going to the Play Store and we're gonna download Root Checker. Alright, open it. And verify root. Click allow. And device is rooted. Uh, we're not done yet though. We're going to reboot the phone. We're gonna open root checker again. And we're gonna purify. Okay, device still rooted, uh, but we're going to download uh, also BCBox. Go to the Play Store and type type that and install it. Now we're going to download Titanium Backup. Okay. So you're going to back up your phone uh, since uh, 
something might go wrong because we rooted your phone uh, you're gonna have a total backup of your whatever you have installed there so I recommend you buy the pro version it's uh, about six seven dollars I think it's yeah six something so I recommend you buy it and back up your phone so in case everything uh, gets deleted or your phone you know something goes wrong you have a f full backup alright so that's pretty much it